It's Tuesday, March 14th. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daly. Well, I was talking to some friends yesterday about uh, a recent evangelistic crusade, and it's something that pretty um, much just happens in the United States for the most part. But at the end, they have what we call an altar call, and many people came forward, and if there aren't enough people, usually the pastor will say, oh, okay, all of you that need to rededicate your lives to the Lord, you come forward. And of course, that always gets a lot of people to come up. Every time. Sometimes the very same people every time. Well, what about this dedication, rededication, all of that? You know, in keeping <laughs> with, with my system of always being a little on the edge and a little controversial, I want to plow into this subject today because it's one that bothers me quite a bit. You know, folks, when we begin to use methods to validate things, it gets a little sticky. You know, over the years, a lot of people have had so-called evangelistic crusades where a lot of people are in attendance and they have people come down to receive the Lord and then they announce that they're now Christians and they send them on their way. The problem is that most statistics say that less than 5% of them actually became Christians three years later. They're not following the Lord. Well, that's pretty huge odds. It means that 95% had some kind of an emotional experience that didn't last. Do they become Christians? Well, the Bible says by their fruits you'll know them. It doesn't look like it. So what do you do with that? How do you handle this whole altar call situation and dedication and rededication and all of that. You know, the Bible's pretty clear on one big point. The Christian life is impossible. Let me clarify a little bit. It's impossible for you. You see, the reason that you and I need Jesus Christ so much is because we can't do it on our own. It's impossible for us. You know, it's impossible to stay dedicated. You know, I used to struggle with the same thing. You know, every time they had that altar call, I was going forward. You know, rededication, rededication, rededication. Why? Because every day I feel like there's something wrong. So do you. We realize we don't get it right all the time. And sometimes, some days, we don't feel like we're getting it right very much at all. But what about this rededication thing? And what about dedication in the first place? You know, Jesus died on the cross because he knew we couldn't be perfect. You know, if you and I could honestly dedicate ourselves to the Lord and keep going with it and not have any problems and never sin, Jesus wouldn't have had to die on the cross. Your path would have been completely clean and clear to approach the throne of God. But that didn't happen, did it? The Bible says that sin entered the world through one man and through sin, death, and the entail of sin and death passed on to all generations because no one was himself free from sin. So we're not. And when Jesus Christ came and died on the cross, he said that we are forgiven. His blood on the cross was shed for our sin and covered our sin and removed it from us. Well, that's really great news, except what do you do with that? Well, folks, you stop dedicating and if you can't dedicate you can't rededicate and you begin a whole different process of surrender you see you let him do it you allow the holy spirit to work from your innermost being out you begin the process of allowing god to make you into something that you weren't before you allow him to fulfill second corinthians 5:17 you're a new creation in jesus christ So what does that mean for you? Every time you feel like you got to rededicate again, that's a daily thing. And would you remember that you can't do it? The only way that you and I are going to get through this is not by our own dedication, not by trying to pull ourselves through it and become perfect, but simply to surrender to Jesus Christ and realize that his power is made perfect in us. His power, not yours. So the next time you hear one of those altar calls where they tell you to come on and rededicate your life, and even though with the organ music playing and the mood just right, you feel like, gee, I need to go up there, would you remember just quietly in your seat that Jesus Christ asks you to surrender 
and that he would do the work. That's why he died for you. I love it that he took away our sin and our guilt because I really got tired of being guilty all the time. What do I do with my sin? Well, I still feel bad about it. But I feel really good that he's in charge and that I'm going to do better next time. It's good news, isn't it? God bless you. Have a great day.